Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you a tutorial on how you can install WordPress locally on your computer by making use of a tool known as local. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to localwp.com. This is the homepage right here. And the thing is, you can download the tool for free. However, in order to make use of certain tools and add-ons, you would need to create an account with them. So I would recommend that you simply just go ahead now and click on create an account. Now the process is very, very, very straightforward. Simply add your first name, last name, email address, provide your password, and then simply create your account. Now, as you can see, I have already logged into my account and now I can proceed to download the latest version of local. When you click on the link right there, simply choose your platform Mine is Windows, so I'm going to choose Windows and then simply click on download local. Now, this will take a while because it is quite a large file size. What I'm going to do right now is to pause the video and resume once the download has finished. As you can see, I have downloaded local, so I'm going to go ahead now and click on the link. Just simply double click and local is going to launch right now. And all right, so I'm going to click on next right here, click on install. And that's pretty much it. Installing local is actually very, very, very straightforward. This typically will take about 20 seconds. So I'll pause the video one more time and zoom once the installation has completed. All right, as you can see right now, local has finished installing. I'm going to run local by clicking on finish. And now local is going to run. And let's wait for a few seconds for it to open up. And there it is. All right, so this is the very first page right now. And because this is a brand new installation, I haven't created any sites with local. I'm going to see the prompt that says, looks like you haven't created any sites yet. Let's create a new site. So I'm going to click on the link right here and you've got three different options. You can create a new site from scratch or you can make use of a blueprint, which is basically our pre-installed themes. Or you can also select an existing zip where you can upload your files and folders for your WordPress installation. However, I'm going to go with the very first option in here to simply create a new site from scratch. So I'll click on continue. And now we can add the name of the site. For testing purposes, I'm just going to call this one blogger as an example. Under advanced options, you can choose like the local site domain and then the local site path. I'll just keep the default options. Click on continue. And now in here, you do have the option of choosing either a preferred environment by local or choosing your own custom environment. What this means by custom is that you can choose the PHP version. You can choose the type of web server you want to go with and also the type of database. I would recommend you go along this path if you know what you're doing and you have very specific requirements. But in most cases, the preferred environment is very, very, very good. It's good enough. So I'll choose preferred click on continue. And now I'm going to add my username, which would be blogger. And then I will also add my password right there. And for the WordPress email, I'll keep the default. Under advanced options, you can choose to install a multi-site if you want to, but mine isn't a multi-site. It's simply a single website. So I'll choose no, and then click on add site. And now what local is doing is that it is simply creating the site. So this might take up to 10, 15, maybe 20 seconds. Shouldn't take that long, actually. All right, so you might see certain kinds of prompts on your computer asking if you want to grant permission. I'm going to go ahead and grant permission. And now you can see officially local is now adding WordPress to my blogger site. And as you can see right now, the site has fully launched. And then right here, I can click on open site. And now this is the website right here, as you can see. So let me go back to the local platform. Right here, we have the overview of the site, the site domain, SSL, and so on. And then here, database. If you need to access the database of your site, you can do so right here. Just click on Open Admina, and this will launch the database for your website. Now, under Tools, this is where you can find the extensions that have been installed on your site. Now, speaking of extensions, there is one I want to show you how you can install because I believe it's extremely useful. You want to come down here to Add-ons. You click in there. 
The extension I'm talking about here is the Image Optimizer. This is a fantastic extension because what it does is that it, it compresses your images on your site, making them smaller, saving you plenty of space. So I'm going to click in there and I'm going to click on Install Add-on to install the add-on. And in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I am going to add a few images to my website. So let me just go ahead and log in right now real quick. And I'm doing this so I can demonstrate to you how the extension actually works. Okay, let me drag this away. And okay, so you can see right now it has installed. So what I'll do right now is I'll click on enable and relaunch. So what this will do is that it's going to turn off our site because it has to install the extension. So we're going to get back to this page right now and they can see right now the site has been turned off. So I'm going to go over here to Blogger. You click in there and then right up here on the right hand corner, I'm going to click on Start Site to launch the website one more time. And there you go. Okay, I'm going to drag back my website right here. And just to show you, I have already added two images. So we're going to compress these two images. So let's go back to our tools. And then right here, you will see the image optimizer link. You can click in there. And now right now, I'm going to click on scan for images. And now you see it says we found 12 images slowing down your site. Now you might be wondering, we only have two images in the media library. Why is it that the image optimizer extension saw 12? Well, don't forget that whenever you upload images to your site, WordPress automatically will try to create different uh, sizes for that particular kind of image. So you'll have like the large size, medium size, thumbnail size, and so on. So it all depends on how large the images are. As you can see, these images are pretty large. This is 192 by 1007, while this one is 2048 by 1365. So this will depend largely on how many images you have or how large the images are. So in order to now actually compress the images, I'm going to click on view images there and now click on optimize images, click on optimize images again. And there you go. All right. So now you can see it says optimization complete. You've saved 0.18 megabytes of space. And that's basically how the extension works. Now up here, you can click on go to site folder and this will give you access to the actual uh, files for your WordPress website. Uh, these are the files right here, as you can see, app backups, con F and then logs. Let me move that one away. Now over here on the left hand corner, you can connect if you have an account with WP engine or flywheel. And then of course, right here, you will have access to the blueprints. These are of course, pre-built templates so far. We don't have any in here. This is of course the add-ons uh, library. And if you want to in uninstall any extension that you've installed, you simply go to installed right here and you can see this is the one we've installed. I can either turn it off completely or I can click right here and then uninstall the extension completely. And then right here, you will have access to the support page where you can read documentation or you can also ask the community for help. And of course, if you need to add a new website, you simply click down here and you can add another site uh, to your platform. So that's it for today's tutorial where I've shown you how to install WordPress locally on your computer by making use of the local tool. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up, share the video with anyone who may feel might benefit from it. And of course, if you're new here to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Cheers.